Hi, this is Scott again, and I'm going to show you today a little test I did uh, between uh, ground, what do you call it, weed barrier. It's kind of a cloth that has holes in it so the water will go through. Uh, between that and clear plastic and black plastic to see what would work better. And the weed barrier, I'm not sure why they call it weed barrier. They should, should call it just um, hide the weeds. And I'll show you what I mean. So here's our crazy tomato plants. All these tomato plants looked like they were dead and dying um, in the little boxes our neighbor gave them to us. And then I forgot and left them out a couple of days without any water. And they, they were stiff and, and dead. And I put them in this uh, box. We took out all the, uh, the material that was in there, put some more um, fertilizer down in and then put another layer of uh, compost in there and they're growing like crazy but what I wanted to show you is in in this box I put this weed barrier and I don't know if you can see it that close but it's very thin uh, if you hold it up to the light you can see through it and if you look back through there you can't see any weeds well, you can see one right here, but uh, well, maybe two. But uh, the reason I call it weed hider is you've got the weed barrier right there, but if you lift it up, look what's underneath. All kinds of weeds. Crazy with weeds. So the weed barrier really doesn't work. It will hide them. It will sometimes keep from the plant keep the plants from strangling with weeds, but there's better ways to do it than the weed barrier. Yeah, you can see the weeds are coming up through the, the holes in the weed barrier. But are getting some tomatoes. So these uh, kind of experimental, I have no idea what kind of tomatoes these are. Uh, like I said, they just were given to us from a neighbor who, who didn't have time to plant them. And so I just threw them in this grow box. Here's, here's the other two test areas. The black plastic I put down. The weeds were very thick. It's a uh, field bindweed. Some people call it morning glory, but it's really not. Um, I didn't have any holes that punched in it. And you can see the weeds are dead. But for a while, it uh, made them grow really fast. But they were sticking about six inches high. But now, they're pretty much dead. But, if, uh, well, I, I also tried the weed barrier. I just put it on top of the plastic. But the plastic, you can see through there that the toasted weeds, they are just deader than dead this fried um, but what I would suggest if you're going to use one of the three I would use the clear plastic and I would punch holes in it where you want to put the plants and then I would punch holes in it for water you'll have weeds growing up through there but this clear plastic will actually cook the weeds much better than the black plastic does black plastic will work I've used it for several years at times but uh, after seeing how fast the clear plastic killed the weeds, it does let the heat go through. For some reason, the black, pra black plastic does get hot, but not as hot as the clear plastic. So, given a choice between the three, uh, <clears throat> if you wanted just for looks, you could put the weed barrier on top, which is I've got right there. I don't have anything planted right here, but uh, if you wanted to do both, just for aesthetic purposes, you could put the clear plastic down and then the weed barrier and then just put a hole through both of them to put the plants in. And like I said, you'd have to put holes in the um, plastic around the plants to make sure there's enough holes to get enough water through. So, hope that helps. If that helped you, uh, give me a like and subscribe and uh, leave any comments down below and we'll do another one soon. Thanks for watching.